What's up everyone? Day 30, October 17th, and welcome to Trinidad. We are getting very, very close to South America. Um, so let me catch up to speed with yesterday. Um, it was sad, we had to say goodbye to everyone, Solange, Eddie, even ran into Screw. I know it's gonna be good because you have a good spirit. You Thanks, really man. do have a good spirit. Around the world in six months. I hope so, man. Thanks and, a lot, And when man. you're all done, come back here. Okay. Absolutely. And come back and chill for like a month. couple months. And um, just to say how crazy it was, even though we spent so much time in Dominica, the last few moments were just like, I mean, we were running around with our heads cut off. Jay actually had to upload that video that you guys saw yesterday. So I just want to tell everyone in Dominica, thank you guys for taking care of us. We quickly got to the airport, and Jay packed a little lunch for me. Thank you, Jay, because I was absolutely starving. Where do you think your next meal is going to come from? I don't even know if someone's gonna be at the airport when we get that. Anyway, so we got on a flight and really we were back to like square one again. We did not know if anyone was gonna be here. We checked our email um, saying be careful in Porto, Spain. It's very dangerous. Don't walk the streets. So that with was equipment. Comforting. Yeah, with equipment. So that was pretty comforting. So when we landed, we cleared through customs and we're walking and uh, there's this guy kind of looking at us. Yeah, man. What's up, man? What's your name, man? Trevor. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> anyway, his name's Trevor, and he actually was listening to Kyrie FM um, that morning. I follow the, the, the uh, morning talk shows, and I, I was just switching from station to station. On the I, internet? Yeah, sure. yeah, on the internet. It's good. I didn't know if I was going to be sleeping on the streets tonight. It's a bit dangerous. Yeah. Is it? Two foreigners sleeping on the streets. <laughs> yeah. That would be trouble. Yeah. Why is that? Just the poverty? Uh, n well, there's a lot of money. It's just that you know some guys believe they could they could grab what is what is yours you know what i mean you know what's trippy is that like seeing a skyline again you know what we've been listening to squealing pigs and chickens <laughs> seriously that is seriously what i go to sleep to and when i wake and up frogs no frogs i mean really we've been in these like really remote places for so long obviously when we come in here it's just like all this action it's like you know everything's and fast forward it was a trip it was wild quickly you know he, he brings us to like this local one of his favorite roadie places and uh you know there's a ton of indian uh influence here in Trinidad and so we're just on a roadside stand getting a bite to eat. I'm, I'm telling you I am a curry expert. Yeah? Yeah my mother used to crave curry when she was pregnant with me. I come here all the time. And then he takes us to one of his favorite watering holes in uh in St. James. This is the path here of said it never slips. Yes. So Trevor brought us back to his house, a really nice place. And here on Trinidad, I mean, the, the, the construction is absolutely booming. And why is because, you know, they, they have oil and gas. So this island is very rich. And um, Trevor, you know, he is one of these, you know, construction consultants here. I mean, he has anything from small project to some of the bigger projects on this island. Intention was to bring Miami into Trinidad, residential living, Miami residential living into Trinidad. You know, first thing in the morning, he's up and at him. He's got stuff to do, so he's like, hey guys, let me bring you from, to my little breakfast nook and uh, get you guys a little hot double, and uh, it's definitely spicy. Not only is it hot, but it's spicy hot too. Like, really spicy hot. So I'm not really sure how long we're gonna stay here on Trinidad, but I'll guarantee you one thing, we are gonna jam pack as much as we can into it, and um, we'll be sure to check in with you tomorrow. All right, cheers.